in Vesco Field, home of the Denver Broncos, is the site for our matchup between Detroit and Denver. Let's take you now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth. We're getting set for the kickoff. We couldn't have asked for a better day for football as we get ready for today's game. Welcome, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here with a call. Chris, any comments before we kick this one off? We should see both of these teams trying to establish a good balance on offense in this one. Whoever can do that should be able to win this thing. Their offense will step onto the field for the first time, hoping to come away with some points on this possession. Hand off to the right. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. A gain of around seven for the back. Second and three. Ball on the 48. They come out with a big set. He drops back. Throws it out. Defender tips it away. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Fakes the run. Gets the pass out. With the catch. Tackle around the 33-yard line. Oh boy, that's a nice play on third down. Clutch play by the receiver that time on third down. As a receiver, you really have to just flat out want the ball in that situation. You can tell that this guy really does. Fakes to the back. Short throw to the right. Out of bounds at the 30. He went to the short man, but the defense was right there to make the play. Yeah, and this is one of those plays that's a lot like a long extended handoff. He gets it out to the receiver and just lets him work on the outside. That time, though, unable to pick up much yardage. Looking for a receiver. Makes the grab. He makes a great open field tackle. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. And it looks short from up here, and they were not able to get much there. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. Well, when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. And he got plenty of distance on this one. He's got it. That was a great kick from that distance. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. The kick. He'll take it from the two. He's hammered at the 24-yard line. You always want to have a successful first drive. It really sets the tone for the whole game offensively. Let's see how they do here. They're packed in tight on the line. Nice play fake. He's running out of time. Makes the catch. He's dropped at the 38. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Sets up the play action. Makes the short throw. He's tackled at midfield. The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play action pass. Open it up down the field. They'll give it off here. And they get him at about the 47-yard line. Smith picks up two yards with the carry. Offset eye formation in the backfield. We're about 
He'll get it again. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Good blocking up front and a nice gain on the counter. Yeah, not often do you see those inside linebackers fooled like that. They took that misstep, came back around with the counter just simply out of position. Those big offensive linemen able to get on them, pick up a big gain. From the 27-yard line, three wide receivers set. They'll throw on first down. Throws on the run. Falls incomplete. Johnson was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. They line up in a one-back set. He drops back. He throws on the run. And it's picked off. He took a shot at the 22. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. First and 10, ball on their own 22. Nickel back in this time. And he will lose yardage on the play. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please. They hand it off. Hit hard at the 24-yard line. Young gains about two yards on the run. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. Cutler set to go to the air. Smith gets the interception. To the 20. To the 10. What a big time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. Drops back to pass. Defense closing in. Pass completed. He's tackled at the one. Smith picks up about four yards with the catch. Second and goal coming up. About a yard to pay dirt. One man in the backfield. Nice play fake. Throws it short. What a catch! Touchdown! Well, this offense certainly off to a good start here today, and let's see if they can continue to capitalize on that early touchdown to put them up by three. And here's the extra point. The snap, set down, the kick is up. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. From his own goal line. Drill at the 31. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The Broncos line up in an I formation. Young on the inside handoff. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. A nice pickup of about eight yards. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. 
Tosses it out. And they get him around the 48-yard line. That was an excellent run there to pick up the first. Yes, sir. He really found a nice hole, was able to exploit it for a good gain. They're going to have to do a better job getting in those running lanes if they're going to stop him consistently. Young gets another carry. He's tackled right around the 50-yard line. Gain of two. That brings up second down. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 50. Cutler with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. He throws a bullet out to his left. Bad luck as he drops him. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. Cutler is in the shotgun. He has three receivers. New 45! New 45! He drops back to pass. Dumps it out right. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 48-yard line. A yard, maybe two, on the screen that time. Moore awaiting the return. Punts it. Into the end zone for a touchback. The offense lines up and is looking to score again after a successful trip to the end zone on their last drive. Drops back on first down. He's under a heavy rush. Tackled right around the 34-yard line. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Back to throw. On the run, he throws it. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. It's the tailback. He's dropped at the 48-yard line. They pick up two yards. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 48. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Kitnett will look to throw. Rifles this one out to the middle. And they get him at the 44-yard line. Nice pass play. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. Back to pass. Gets rid of the ball. He's tackled at the 37. McDonald caught that one for a gain of seven. They line up at the 37. Offset I formation in the backfield. Kitnett calls for motion right. He drops back. Rockets it. Bailey gets his hand on it. Williams was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. One man backfield. Back to pass. He throws right, and it's completed. Tackled around the 30-yard line. Chris, they love to run that play. Yeah, that's one if you study this team on tape, you're going to see them go to that in the clutch, and it worked again. What a hit! Nice grab on the play, his second catch of the drive. Yeah, and I'm going to expect to see a lot more passes to this guy. He's a good receiver, he's talented, he can make the catch and get upfield. But more importantly right now, this defense is creating some opportunities for him to catch the ball. Hitting it off the fake. And the defense has a heavy rush. 
Oh, you can't blame the quarterback there. Bradley was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Here's play number 10 on this drive. Single set backfield. Fakes to the back. Short throw to the right. He's brought down at the 14. Pretty good gain right there. You have so many people on this offense that you have to account for. The tight ends, the wide receivers, the running backs, even the quarterbacks. And now they're throwing to the fullback. That's almost not fair. And they'll run him again. He didn't get back to the line. There was no way that defensive end was letting him go by. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. Fakes the run. And they drop him for the sack. And that was a huge rush he was facing. I'm not sure there was much he could do there. I'm not even sure he saw those guys coming. I'll tell you what, though. If they don't start doing a better job protecting up front, it's going to be a long day for this quarterback. Here we go, Tim. Friday, Friday, Friday. Go, baby. Back to pass. Tries for the end zone. And he should have had that one. Oh, my. The quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes, and every once in a while, you're going to get one pick. But that was a pretty good play by the defense. And it's good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks this one deep. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll get the ball here at the 32-yard line. First and 10. Only one man back. The Broncos changing their play at the line. Cutler on first down. Looks for a man open. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Let's go, let's go right, right, right. Sets up the play action. It's completed. Tackle around the 43-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys in the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. Dropped behind the line. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner was stuck. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. Young gets the carry left side. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is definitely not afraid to use their safeties in run support. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. He drops back to pass. He passes middle. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Moore is back deep to receive. Gets it away cleanly. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. Scatter, scatter, scatter. 
Back to throw. Rifles it out there. He fumbled it. Lynch recovered it. To the 20. The receiver should have held on to that one. Wide receivers are pretty good at catching the football. They're not always good at running with the football. It takes a lot of strength to hold on to that ball, and he gave it up. They'll take over at the 14. They line up in the I formation. Sets up the play action. And he goes down. And the Blitz work to perfection on that one. It's so frustrating for an offense when they think they know what's going to happen with a specific Blitz package. You work against it all week. You come out in a game and you fail to execute the protection and your quarterback pays the price. On play action. And he's dragged down for the sack. What happened to the protection on that one, Chris? Yeah, that was a great job getting past the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. It's one thing when you blitz is that you create one-on-one -on -one matchups up front, and that time the defensive end able to take advantage. He drops back. Moves up. It's dropped. Young wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. This will be a 33-yard attempt. Hits the upright. No good. I'd like to see him get another chance in this game. That wasn't his best effort. Yeah, that's like lipping out a putt in golf, isn't it? And I don't know about you, but I count those as in. If they lip out, that's good. I pick it up. Throws it short. There for the reception. He doesn't get back to the line. He stops short of the line on the play. Boy, that's just great anticipation by the defense there. They saw that play coming and were all over it. Hands it off. He's brought down right around the 22-yard line. So at the most, he gains a few inches, and that makes it third down. They line up at the 23. The Broncos bring in their dime package, only three down linemen. Campbell takes off in motion. Kitna takes it back. They get to it. Engelberger got to him in a hurry on that play. Harris is waiting for the snap. He punts it. And they make the fair catch. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Looks to pass. Throws a bullet. How can you drop that? Looked like a sure reception but he couldn't hang on to it. Well, that's just such a big part of the game. You know these receivers are going to be in position to make a catch. You can either try and knock it down or knock them out. Back to throw. Rifles this one out to the right. He's dropped at the 41-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. 
a pickup of about three, and that will bring up second down. Nickelback is in on this play. Drops back. He needs to make a decision. Intercepted. And that was the second time he's been picked off this half. Well, we're going to find out how mentally tough this quarterback is because when you get off to a shaky start like that, sometimes it's tough to piece everything back together again. Drops back on first down. He's there for the catch. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. He just couldn't make anything happen after bringing that one in. And that play's really all about the closing speed on defense. They'll let you have the completion, but then they close quickly and make the play. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Kitna will look to throw. Looks down the field. Comes down with it. And they get him around the 35-yard line. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside, but blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. They'll drop him for a short loss there. That brings up second down. Kitna is lined up under center. Only one man back here. He drops back. Not much time to throw. And they got him. Boy, you talk about taking a big hit. Boy, oh boy, he's got to be feeling that one right now. That is one nasty shot. And honestly, I, I think people are surprised just to see him get up. Sets up the play action. Pass is complete. He's brought down at the 33. The third down pass got them good yardage, but not quite enough to convert. Yeah, that was a tough third down situation. They got the good completion, a good gain on the play, but probably asking too much out of the receiver to try and break that many tackles to pick up that first down. He punts it. It'll go out at the six. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team. Throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. Give to the tailback. Brought down at about the five-yard line. Maybe a yard. That'll bring up second down. Second down now with ten to go. Ball on the six-yard line. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Cutler back to pass. He's under a heavy rush. Tackled around the seven yard line. And not a whole lot of yardage gained on that trip. And that's one of those plays where you leave it up to the receiver to make yardage after the catch is made. When he can't find his way into open space, you'll see plays like that. Cutler looking to pass. Looking for a receiver. And he caught it. Knocked out of bounds at the 17. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. And the last guy gets him. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now they have the defense on their heels. Denver sends a man in motion to the right. Drops back to pass. Gets the throw off. Marshall lost the ball. Fisher gets the loose ball.
makes a move and he's in, touchdown. And just like that, they make it a two possession game. What a tremendous return that was and even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. They'll look to tack on the extra point. It's good. Decent kick. Royal fields it at the two. Brill at the 27. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. The Broncos come out in the ace formation. Fakes to the back, down the middle, and he catches it. And they get him at the 44-yard line. That's the arm strength we've been talking about all week. And you know the amazing thing about this guy? We all talk about his arm strength, but did you see how fluid that delivery was? He didn't even look like he was trying to throw it hard. Passes it out. Brought down at the 43-yard line. And that pass was moving. Yeah, and it's not that quarterbacks without strong arms can't make it in this league. But boy, it sure is an asset to have a guy with a cannon like that. He looks to throw on first down. Knocked down. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He's brought down at the 40. Young comes away with two yards on the carry. The offense lines this one up in shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Rolling right. Baden has the pick. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Might want to start thinking about trying to pick on that guy. We've seen all day he has simply been quicker to the spot than the wide receivers coming into his area. Gives to the back. He's dropped at the 25. They get two yards. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Smith, the ball carrier. He lost it. It's picked up. To the 20. To the 10. He's in. Touchdown. That was just a great play by the defense, and now they have the momentum. And that really changes the complexion of this game. First you're down two scores, now you're down one score, and you could just feel the excitement level on that sideline after that play. And they line up for the extra point. Up and good. The kick is away. Field it at the four. At the 30. He's hammered at the 32-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Kitnett lines up under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Smith takes the handoff. What an open field tackle. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. 
Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Hitting it, lines up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. Sets up the play action. He threw off his back foot. Almost intercepted. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Hitner drops to throw. Williams picks it off. Brought down about the 27-yard line. And that one will now make two interceptions he's thrown in this first half. Not exactly the way he was hoping to start this football game, but plenty of time still remains. He can get himself right back on track. It's the tailback. Tackled at the 26-yard line. Young gets three yards on the play. Two tight end formation this time. Cutler will look to throw. He throws it. Brings it in. He's brought down at the 13. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. He's running out of time. Catch is made. And they get him right around the four-yard line. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Dumps it out right. Into the end zone for a touchdown. The tight end comes up with a catch for a touchdown. Quarterbacks love throwing to those big tight ends on the goal line. It is just an easier target, easier to find those guys. Up and good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Not a bad kick. He'll return it from the three. Big hit there to bring him down. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Two tight ends here. Short pass to his left. He's hammered in the backfield. Loss of a yard on the play. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. Setting up play action. Campbell was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt from their own 27-yard line. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Drops back. Throws it to the middle. Had his hands on it and dropped it. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Harris is the punter. Harris will kick it away, and boy did he get all of this, what a punt. Royal fields it at the 30. He's tackled right around the 42 yard line, and they take the field with one thing on their mind, another scoring drive. Offset eye formation in the backfield. He drops back to pass. Passes on the move. He's brought down at the 46 yard line. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Quarterback is in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. 
Blue 45! Blue 45! Brought down at the 47-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. They line up at the 47. Cutler back in the shotgun for this one. Looking to throw. Scans the field. Cutler will be dropped in the backfield. Good job there by the end to get in there for the sack. Man, I'm really impressed by that guy out there. You know, you, you try to single block him, you can't. You try and double team him, you still can't block him. There are some guys in the league that are just too good. He punts it. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Smith alone in the backfield. Little handoff. And he's drilled at the 36-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight to go. The Lions come out in the ace formation. He's dragged down on the play. It seems to me they're having a tough time picking up their blocks. Something went wrong on that play. You know, you have the quarterback who makes line calls. Then you have the center who may adjust the line calls. Just watching that protection, I think something went wrong in the communication between the quarterback or the center. Somebody, that was a mistake. He lost yardage on the play. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. It's fourth down. The Lions lining up to punt. Harris to punt. He punts it. Makes the fair catch. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Drops back on first down. He steps up. Brings this one in. He's dropped for a loss. He stopped behind the line for a loss of one. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Don't lose your play. Green 88. Come on, let's go. Green 88. Regular, regular, regular. We are, we are, we are. Hunt, hunt, hunt. They never play. Back to throw. Dumps it out left. He's tackled at about the 21. Sapp gains a couple with a short completion. That'll bring up third and nine. Ball on the 22-yard line. Graham comes in motion. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Watch the drop. Watch the back. Whoever got the back. He drops back to pass. Passes it to the middle. And they get him at the 33. Excellent pass by the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. He looks to throw on first down. Strong throw to his left. Brought down at the 47-yard line. An impressive first half for the quarterback. You know, I know there are a lot of people out there who like to watch defensive football games. Not me. I like to watch a guy throw it around like this. His quarterback's hot, and he knows it. Looks for a man open. Takes a shot deep to the right. 
bats it away. That one could have easily been intercepted. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. will be escorted from the stadium. Cutler drops back. Throws on the run. What a shot! Jackson caught that one for a gain of six. Three wide receiver. Denver using an audible. Cutler will look to throw. Looking for an open man. Dumps it out right. Fumble on the play. They get the turnover. And the defense comes up with a big play there. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. They'll set up shop at the 50. First down now and 10 to go. Sets up the play action. Almost picked. Williams was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Looking to throw. Throws left. Drops the sure pick. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. He's looking to throw. Gets it off. Completed. He's dropped at about the 31. From the 32-yard line. Kittnett lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Short pass, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Detroit motions left. Looks to pass. Throws to his right. Makes the reception. And he's knocked out at the 18-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts. And he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away. And he is working them over. Drops back on first down. Is there for the catch. He's dropped around the nine-yard line, completed for a 10-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. He drops back to pass, flips it out short. He steps out around the four-yard line. Nice job getting that pass out of there, and he picks up the first down. Yeah, smart play call that time by the offense. He could tell by the pre-snap read that short throw was going to be there, and he took advantage. Campbell motioning to the left. He drops back. He'll try the end zone. He gets in for six. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. And we've talked about his arm strength, but his accuracy keeps showing through in this game. That was beautifully delivered. Here's the kick. Up and good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. He kicks it. Gathered at the six. Drilled at the 30. The offense will take over at the 30. It's first and 10. One more play before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Back to throw. Fires it out. Batted away. 
And as we head to halftime, score is 24-17. Here's the kick. Taken from the three yard line. Dropped at the 29 yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Kitnet is under center. I formation this time. Tosses it out. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. The halfback picks up a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 30. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Hitting it with the give. Brought down behind the line. No yards gained. That'll bring up third down. Third and nine. Ball on the 30-yard line. Quarterback is in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. There for the catch. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. They just get enough for the first down. That's just great offense right there. Anytime you have a third and long situation and you can execute a play like that for a first down, that's impressive. Again with the carry. He makes his way to about the 48. They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. They do. It's going to be awfully tough to stop this offense. Fakes to the back. Rockets it out with the catch. Brought down at about the 35-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Hitting it, hands it off. And they get him at the 28-yard line. So that was a pickup of about nine. And that will bring up second down. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Lining up with three wide. He's right. New 45. New 45. Come on, G. Give to the tailback. And he will lose yardage on the play. Solid hit with a safety. He'll drop him for a loss. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. He didn't get back to the line. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. The set down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Here's the kick. From the five-yard line. Hit and dropped at the 26-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. He needs to get rid of it. Makes the grab. He's brought down at the 45. 
and this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Gets the pass away. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. The defense didn't have a chance on that one. Great throw that time. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play, and a guy makes a throw like that, and you go, hey, that's a good throw. Little handoff. What a quick move. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Young did a great job to get past the marker and get the first down. Cutler is lined up under center. Two backs in the eye. Young gets another handoff. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. That's a seven-yard gain. That brings up second down. Denver goes with the ace set here. Hand off up the middle. And they get him at the 33-yard line. The back got some open field and was able to get a nice run. You could just tell he was not going to the ground until he got past that first down marker. I really like the determination in this guy in picking up first downs. Young on the give. Hit and dropped behind the line. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Looks to pass. Pass is right. Struggles to find his target with that one. Looked like he put a little too much on that one. Boy, that one was shot in there, too. I'm not sure anybody could have caught that one anyway. That thing just <laughs> never came down. He drops back to pass. Makes the catch. He's dropped about the 25-yard line. Jackson caught that one for a gain of seven. Fourth down. This one will be from about 43 yards out. Prater can make this a one-possession game with this kick. The kick is up. It's got the distance. He missed it. The snap was good. The hold was good. But he just couldn't get it through the uprights. Not his best effort. You're being kind. That was pretty bad right there. And now you've got to go over and look at your teammates in the eyes as a field goal kicker. Know that they did all that work to get you down in position to do your job, and you couldn't get it done. Inside handoff. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Smith picks up about seven yards on the halfback draw. Ace backfield this time. Kittner sends a guy in motion to the right. They'll keep it on the ground again. They tackle him for a loss. I don't think the offense expected the safety to come up on the ball like that. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Looks to pass. Throws it out. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. Not much of an offensive series that time. Three and out after the incompletion on third down. Well, and there is some cumulative effect of those three and out series because they do tend to wear out your defense, which has to come right back out on the field now. He gets it away. Royal fields it at the 22. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. 
Decent return there. He'll give his offense pretty good field position. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. He's going to be tackled for a loss. The cornerback did a nice job recognizing the play and getting in there for the stop. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. They give it to the tailback. He lost yardage on the play. Nothing going on that play, and so it'll be third down. It's third down, 10 yards for a first. Ball on the 30. Cutler is in the shotgun. Four receivers wide this time. Drops back. Looking for a receiver. Pass completed. And they get him at the 47-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Scheffler, the man in motion. Cutler drops to throw. And the defense has a heavy rush. He's dropped right around the 36-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Huge hit. Young gains around three yards on the run. Ouch. You take too many shots like that as a running back, you start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. Cutler steps to the line of scrimmage. They'll come up in an eye this time. Looking to throw. He's under pressure. And it's completed. Brought down at the 20-yard line. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Play fake. It's completed. He's brought down around the 18-yard line. It's completed, but not a whole lot of yardage gained on the play. Yeah, this is a defense that just has too much speed for plays like that. You have to loosen them up some with some deep attempts for the short passes underneath the work. Cutler hands it off straight ahead. And he just got hammered. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. Offense will line this one up at the 12. Cutler lines up under center. Offense lines up in an eye. Setting up play action. Oh, you gotta catch that. Graham was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Fourth down, and they'll attempt the field goal here. This one is from about 29 yards out. Right down the middle. Good job putting that kick right on target, and it goes through for three points. He kicks it off. And he'll return this one from the seven. They get him at the 41-yard line. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. Detroit lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. He drops back. Throws the bullet across the middle. He's dropped around the 49-yard line. 
Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. First down, looking to throw. There for the reception. And they get him at the 38. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Drops back on first down. He's there for the catch. Brought down at the 30. Another fine pass and catch on that play. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. Three wide receivers on the field, the quarterback in the shotgun. Kitnett has completed every pass on this drive. Should have had that when he was wide open. And the hit knocked the ball out on that play. That's just a big hit right there. No way the receiver could hold on to that one. Harris can pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Punts it. This one's going to go out of bounds at the six-yard line. The offense takes the field, hoping to come away with more than just a field goal on this drive. Drops back on first down. He's going to run. He's tackled at about the nine-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Hey, we gotta watch the ball, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go, let's go. Nice play fake. Goes through his read. Comes down with it. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. Another completed pass puts him over the 300 yard mark. And you know, this guy just loves to play football. I really like talking to him before the game. You can hear the passion in his voice. And when you have a leader that has that kind of passion and that kind of emotion, it's just so much easier to play the game. There's a play fake. Can't complete it. The running back can't quite get to that one. And the halfback was open on that one. The quarterback just missed him. Denver is going with the offset eye backfield. Let's go left. New 45. Block. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in. Get that ball off. That's hot, man. I'm just sitting there. Kings left. Cutler back to pass. Huge pressure by the defense. Bullock gets the pick. And they get him at the 31. So they come up with another interception. This is about the time where the quarterback comes walking off the field and one of his own defensive players will look at him and go, uh, you want to try and throw one to our guys for once? They'll give it off here. Cuts back and he's dropped. Gain of five on the play. That'll bring up second down. They come out with three wide receivers. Play fake. Throws out right. Oh, you got to catch that. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. Kitna comes to the line under center. Single set backfield this time. Drops back. He throws right. Lack of concentration as it bounces away. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say, what happened on third down? 
and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. The kick is up. It's got the distance. It's good. And he put that one through nicely. It's a pretty rare kicker that can kick a ball that far with that kind of accuracy. That was just a cannon shot. The kick is away. Hall fields it at the two. He's hammered at the 31. The quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. Cutler with three wide receivers. Cutler calls for motion right. Back to throw. He needs to get rid of it. Pass is complete. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did, and when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Fakes the run. Gets the ball away. And they can't connect. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. Hands it off. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. He tries to wriggle away, but he's stopped for a loss. But well, Tom, the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 42. Three down linemen and two linebackers on the field for the defense. Back to pass. Surveys the field. And he's knocked out at the 47-yard line. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. They put everyone up on the line. Gives to the back. He didn't have a chance. They'll go to work at the 47-yard line. Kitna comes to the line under center. Eye formation behind him. Hands it off. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Two-yard pickup. And you can really see the defensive play calling becoming a little more aggressive now. They're blitzing on passing downs. They'll blitz on run downs and that can really put a lot of pressure on an offensive line. He's looking to throw. Passes to his left. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. Fakes the run. And he caught it. Tackled at midfield. Not a good series for this offense as they go three and out. This defense is turning it into a fist fight out there. They're the aggressor. They're taking it to the offense. And they sent them back to the bench with their head hanging low on that series. Gets it away cleanly. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Hands it off. And they get him at about the 23-yard line. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Cutler will look to throw. Looks for a man open. T 
tipped away. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Graham comes in motion. Looking to throw. He's under pressure. And he catches it. He's tackled at about the 31. They just get enough for the first down. Pretty gutsy play call that time. Anytime you're in a third and long situation, it is tough to dial up those passes, take a chance trying to pick up a first down. A lot of coaches will just run a draw there. Not this guy. He went for it and got paid off. They give it to the tailback. He's brought down at the 33-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. We stopped the run first. One man in the backfield. Cutler will look to pass. Defense is getting pressure. They get to him. The offensive line has really struggled so far in this one. I really don't know what you do as an offense at this point because if it's one guy struggling, or one guy winning the battle, you can help one side or another. But when your entire offensive line is getting beat on a consistent basis, what do you do? Is that a good play call? Yeah, you know, Tom, I really do like that one. Uh, you're giving up a chance, I guess, for a first down. But you probably have a bigger chance in that situation to turn the football over. So just turn around, hand it off, and he nearly broke it out of there. He gets it away. He fields the punt at the 20. And they get him at the 29-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. The offense will take over at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Smith takes the handoff. He's tackled at the 31. Gain of two, and that will bring up second down. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 31. Lions line up in an I formation. Again, he'll get the call. Brought down at the 35. Smith picks up about four yards on the play. Hitnett lines up under center. They'll come up in an I this time. Nice play fake. Dumps it out left. Great open field tackle, and that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Kittman gives it up the middle. He doesn't get back to the line. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. Detroit sets up in the eye. Kitna drops back. He throws a bullet across the middle, and they get him right around the 44-yard line. The defense was coming with a heat on that play. But you'd never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. Loose football. Picked up. And that was not a good time for a fumble. Well, there's really never a good time for a fumble, but you can tell that he just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals, and he gave it up. They hand it off. The defender gets him to the ground. The halfback runs for four yards. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Cutler back to throw. Throws it short. Brings it in. He's brought down at the 17. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Pretty athletic play for a big guy. I tell you, as a quarterback, you see somebody make a play like that, you want to come back again and again.
First down and 10 to go now, following the big game through the air. Single set backfield. On play action, makes the catch. They finally get him, and it looked like he would score, but instead they'll set it up with first and goal. They'll set up inside the five. Three yards for the touchdown. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the three. Picked up maybe a foot or two. That brings up second down. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Goes for the end zone. And he scores. What a play. He made the catch, and that was a great call. Who expected that? Obviously not this defense. The last thing in the world you're thinking when the fullback runs on the field is that he's going to beat you for a big pass play. What a play that was, though. The draw within a field goal. Point after is good. Better than eight minutes remain in the fourth quarter. And the score, the Lions 30, the Broncos 27. Kicks it off. They get him at the 28-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Smith lines up as the deep back, I formation. Hitnett will look to pass. He throws left. Catch is made. He's dropped at about the 33-yard line. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short intermediate routes and that begins to open everything else up. Smith gets the ball. He's hammered in the backfield. The defense just ate up that one. Well, those defenders get paid too and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. And the defense has a heavy rush. And they get him at the 45. And a pretty smart play call right there. It really is so much the key to the football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why. You establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. Just so hard to defend. Looks to pass. Throws out to the right. Brings this one in. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 41-yard line. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. He is hit hard on the play. Smith gains about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Detroit sets up in the eye. Hitting it back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Williams bats it down. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Back to pass. Moves up. Short throw to the left. And he's out at about the 33-yard line. They complete the pass, but it won't be enough for the first. 
Yeah, that's one of those balls that looks good in the stats for the quarterback because he gets a completion. But for this offense, it's going to bring up fourth down. Huge play defensively to make that stop. Punts it. It'll go out at the 11-yard line. Not much you can do on the return team there. Great kick and even better coverage. Boy, it sure makes winning the field position battle a lot easier when you have special teamers like this. Cutler goes with the play fake. Completed. And they get him at the 26-yard line. He's simply putting on a passing clinic out there. Yeah, and this defense should have to pay for admission to this clinic because I tell you what, he is teaching them a thing or two about playing offensive football. No matter what this defense does to try to stop them, they simply cannot. Drops back on first down, and it's caught. Tackled right around the 34-yard line, and they completed for a gain of nine on the slant route. If you're going to play man-to-man -man coverage against this team, you're going to have to take away that slant route. That time they hit it for a big play. Straight ahead with a fullback. Brought down around the 38-yard line. Good run there to pick up the first. Every once in a while, it's just sort of fun to see the big fella pound one in there, take advantage of his size, and pick up a first down. First down, looking to throw. Makes the reception. He's dropped at the 45. And he's crossed the century mark in receiving yards. This has been one heck of a performance. And Tom, I don't think he's finished yet. This is a guy that is on a roll right now, and this defense really doesn't have an answer for him. Young takes it up the middle. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Young gets around three on that halfback draw. They line up at the 48. Young has the deep back as they line up in the eye. Little handoff. He's dropped for a loss. That was a big-time play by a big-time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Short pass to his left. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Sapp will pick up a first down on the play with the six-yard reception. Now we're starting to see this offense get in a nice little rhythm. The quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. They look sharp. Play action. Defense closing in is there for the catch and a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. They'll keep it on the ground again. Tackled around the 32-yard line. The misdirection play gets a yard at the most. They line up in the I formation. Fakes the run. Dumps it out right. He's brought down at the 28-yard line. Eight of four. It's the 11th play of the drive. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Sets up the play action. And he hasn't missed a pass yet. He's finally pushed out of bounds. It's going to be first and goal. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. Cutler lines up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers this time. Cutler is looking to stay perfect on this drive. 
There for the catch. Brought down at the four. Excellent poise under pressure on that pass play with the defense closing in. Good patience that time by the quarterback just checking down to the underneath route, giving his guy a chance to make a play. He's dropped at the three. Picked up maybe a foot or two. That'll bring up third down. They're changing the play. Cutler drops to throw. Passes. End zone. Lennon bats it away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And it splits the uprights. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Taken from the three yard line. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Back to throw. Strong throw. This one falls incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Nickel back in this time. He drops back. He throws right with the catch. Tackled at the 39-yard line. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route that time. I love that call against man-to-man -man coverage. Just get the ball out of your hands quickly. You don't have to face the pressure and give your playmakers a chance on that end cut. He throws on the run. Tipped it away. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Punts it. Royal fields it at the 22. He's brought down right around the 34 yard line. Less than a minute left in the fourth quarter, and it's still a tie ball game. Well, it's going to get interesting now to see just how aggressive they are with the play calling. I'll be honest, wouldn't surprise me at all to see this coach sit on the ball, kill the clock, and take his chances in overtime. Drops back on first down. Goes out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. Not much of a gain at all on that completion. What happened on that one? Well, I think the offense really just trying to make a safe throw rather than taking a big chance and throwing it down the field. You get the ball in the hands of your receiver and let him try and make a play. That time, nothing there. Drops back to pass. Looking for a receiver. Marshall dropped the wide open pass. Marshall was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. They come out with four wideouts. Looks to pass. Goes through his read. Royal was pretty well covered and couldn't make the catch. Royal was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Moore is back deep to return the punt. Punts it. And they make the fair catch. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Smith lines up as the single back. There are three receivers split out one. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they get him around the 24-yard line. The halfback gets the ball and picks up five. Kitna comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. They hand it off. 
dropped behind the line. That cornerback just made this offense look bad. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. He punts it. Royal fields it at the 34. Not a lot of time left as they'll take over with just under 30 seconds remaining. I know what I'd do in this situation. I am still firing. I'm taking my shots down the field. Who knows? You might get lucky, make a play, maybe a pass interference. If you just sit on the ball here, though, and go to overtime, you may never see it again. And he makes the tall grass. Talk about a throw. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. Cutler lines up under center. Only one in the backfield this time. They'll throw on first down. He's under a heavy rush. And the receiver is open. He's dropped at the 25. Don't adjust your TVs. It's true. The quarterback has just thrown for 500 yards. You've heard the story about King Midas and everything he touches turning to gold. Well, that has been the case here today. This guy is slinging nothing but gold nuggets today. The kick. He's hammered at the 23. The offense will take over at the 23-yard line. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if someone can bring it down and win the game. Back to throw. And the defense has a heavy rush. Deflected and broken up. And there's the whistle. Our final score is the Broncos 33, the Lions 30.